imagine that you are in the city of Medina in the year 11 after Hijra. And Our Lady Fatima al Sahra alayhi salam has just been martyred. I want you to imagine that you are in the house of the Ahl al Bayt alayhi salam and Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam, she's just a little girl when this has happened and she's fast asleep in her bed. Imam Ali, he is sitting, he is out sitting by the grave of his beloved Fatima alayhi salam. I want you to imagine that Sayyidah Zainab has just woken up from a dream and she's crying and she says, where is my mother? Where is my father? And you're the only one there with her. How would you comfort her in that moment? I don't know, I think I might, might hug her. I don't know, there's, there's not much I can do with everything. She's been through everything that I know she's going to go through from that moment onwards. This is Umm al Masaib, the mother of sorrows. And no matter what hardships we go through in our lives, we have never even felt a percentage of what Our Lady alayhi salam went through. I now want you to picture that you are in the city of Kufa. It is the 21st night of Ramadan and our master, Amir al-Muhmineen, Imam al-Muttaqeen, Asad Allah al-Ghalib, Imam Ali alayhi salam, he has just passed away after being struck by Ibn Muljam. Imam Ali alayhi salam to say the Fatima was a father and a mother. She adored him. I want you to imagine that you're seeing her in so much pain and sorrow over the loss of her father. What would you say to her in that moment? I actually don't know. What, what can you say? Say the same name. I don't think I'd, I'd be able to say anything. It's hard enough to comfort someone over the loss of their father. And yet this is Zainab. This is the lady that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi were early. He compared her greatness to that of Sayyidah Khadija Alayhi salam. As hard as this is, sister, I now want you to imagine that you are on the plains of Karbala and it is the 10th of Muharram in the year 61 AH. Sayyidah Zainab has lost Imam al Hassan alayhi salam years earlier to poison. She has just lost Abu al Fadl al Abbas and his body lies beside the Fur'at without his hands. And now Imam al Hussein alayhi salam is alone and he is going forth to the battlefield. And he turns to Sayyidah Zainab and says, My sister, bring me my horse. I want you to picture that Sayyidah Zainab turns to you and you're holding the reins of the horse in your hand. And she says to you, Give me the reins so I may give the horse to Abba Abdullah. How would you feel? How would you feel if she said that to you? Heartbroken. <clears throat> I can't even begin to imagine how it must have been giving Sayyidina Alayhi Salaam the course to give 
to her brother. And knowing that soon that horse was going to come back to the tents with no rider. With the blood of the grandson of the prophet smeared in its mane. Now I want you to imagine that you're standing in the streets of Sham, and it is a joyous day. Everyone else is rejoicing. It is like a day of Eid. But you can see the caravan of the Ahl al-Bayt paraded in chains. And you see Sayyida Zainab without her veil. You see men slap the blessed cheeks of Zainab. You see the whips of shimmer on her back and on the back of Sayyida Ruqayya. You see the men poke the ladies with spears and swords into their waists. You see men throwing boiling water at the Ahl al Bayt alayhim wa salam. If you were standing in that crowd, what would you do? to run to say the same I want to go to her and you know, I just want to ask her what can I do now what can I do for you do you want me like I don't know I think I'll just go to her and ask is there anything you want me to do mm -hmm. mm. yeah. you would want to do the right thing you would yeah. want to do the thing that she would be most pleased with as yeah. such. Help in, in any way. Yes. Anyway. As tragic as this is, and by God we will never forget the tragedies of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. Wallah we won't. But one thing is important to imagine that one day these events, these events will be avenged for by the Imam of our time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hasten his reappearance on the earth. We all hope to be servants of Imam Mehdi. And I want to know, what qualities have you seen in Sayyida Zainab alayhi salam that you would hope to show to Imam Zaman in yourself? I think all of Sayyidina's qualities are amazing, but I think what I'd most want to get of her is when I learn from her, her patience, her bravery, and how through everything she went through, she never, not once, doubted God's plan. Not once did she question. She always had patience. She was also, she was always grateful and thankful. I think I would want to be just like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pray sincerely, sister, that all of us, including the brothers and sisters watching at home, I hope that we can all learn from Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam, so that we may be to our Imam as she was to Abba Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam. <laughs> خدا کند که بیایی خدا کند تو نور غیر نوائیم 
خدا کنم که بیا خدا کنم